Just going to go through one or two questions inside seminar sheet one, looking at uh, this expression at the top here. Okay, so looking at the diode equation, what we have to do is to work out what the voltage over current will be over this function. So first off, we're actually going to need to rearrange the equation to form um, voltage. So, let's start. We have current I, saturation current, IS, and then we've got this term here, which is usually called VT. So this is often seen as VD. So we've got VD over VT. Okay. Let's start. We have the diode current, ID. If we divide that by IS, okay, we now have exponential VD over VT. Notice we've simply ignored the minus one. Okay, that's reverse saturation um, current leakage, so we can basically ignore that. Well, Remember, analog is always an approximation. So we've got that term. How do we get rid of the exponential? We take natural logs. So we take a natural log of ID over IS. Okay, that cancels the exponential. We now end up with VD over VT. What we really want is VD. Multiply through by VT. We have this. Okay. And we've arrived out of our VD equation. So we've got the diode voltage VD is equal to VT times natural log of ID over IS. Okay, now we need to do some um, differentiation. We need to look at DI, the rate of change of current. Okay. 1 over VT IS exponential VD over VT okay DV so basically all we've done is we've written out the normal diode equation and in this case our VD term is 1 over VT which has come down the front so now we have an equation DI okay and we've basically proved that it is equal to 1 over VT I dv. Okay, so now if we just want to know what rd is, rd is equal to dv by di, which now we found is equal to vt over i. Okay, do you remember uh, we, we put in a few approximations here. Vt was equal to ooh, uh, um, kT over q. Okay, k Boltzmann's constant. Uh, q charge on an electron, and of course um, t is temperature in Kelvin. Okay, so those are our three terms. Rule of thumb. Remember, analog is often about rules of thumb. VT, 25 millivolts, you know, at, um, at room temperature, 290 Kelvin. Okay, so there we go. And there's our sort of final equation. We will often remember RD is equal to VT over ID. Okay, we'll use exactly the same thing inside a transistor where we would calculate RE, the emitter resistance, would be equal to VT over IE. Okay, oh, so there we go. Now let's use that and calculate something a little bit more complicated. Here, what we've got is a sine wave source. Then we have a resistance and we have a diode. So our supply voltage, our DC voltage, okay, is going to be very, very small because this diode is now in forward bias. 
we're going to have um, a current flow through that resistor which will create the current flow into the diode creating the exact value of VD but we know that this diode is also a resistance RD so we should be able to calculate what V sine which is superimposed on the DC will be at the output here our sort of V out signal okay and that's quite important to us so where do we start with this first off we're going to need to calculate uh, or we need, we need to know what the values are on here the seminar had this 9 volts is the supply it had IS down here as 1.9 times 10 to the minus 10 we had 1K here and we had 1 volt AC okay and we were given a diode current ID was equal to 3 milliamps okay so if we if we start off from the basics we know ID 3 milliamps okay we can easily calculate RD which is equal to VT divided by ID oh dear my pen's going crazy here I'll just write that out again RD is equal to VT divided by ID in which case that's 25 millivolts divided by 3 milliamps okay which equals 8.3 ohms okay quite straightforward now we've effectively got an AC circuit where we have a resistance and a resistance we've got one volt here AC 1k we've got 8.3 ohms okay so we want to calculate here V out it's very simple we can now write V out is equal to 8.3 divided by 8.3 plus 1k all times by 1 volt and that came out to according to my maths 8.26 millivolts okay so you can see how we actually calculated that now the obvious giveaway here was we were given the value of current flowing in the diode. If we weren't given the value of current flowing in the diode, we need to operate, we need to calculate the DC bias level. So we've got 9 volts, 1K and VD. We don't know what the current is flowing through R1 because we don't know what VD is. If we approximate VD, we can calculate the current flow which then means we could calculate VD so we'd have to write an equation to do it that's why just for this particular exercise we started off and we gave you the value of current flowing okay that's the end of um, just a couple of little run throughs on seminar one